Welcome to the E Academy. In today's episode, we will discuss how the lighting function works in the lunar motion detectors belonging to the Slimline family. Please note that four models with the lunar designation are available. Two of them, that is, Slim PIR Lunar and Slim PIR Lunar Pet, use a PIR sensor for motion detection, while Slim Dual Lunar and Slim Dual Lunar Pet are dual tech devices, equipped additionally with a microwave sensor. The detectors also differ in that those with the pet designation in their name are immune to the movement of animals up to 20 kilos in weight, whereas the detectors without this designation offer the option of enabling and disabling the creep zone control. In addition, their coverage area is larger than that of detectors that ignore the pet movement. But the shared feature of all lunar detectors are built-in white LEDs, which are a light source. An important note, the white LEDs used to provide the additional lighting function are powered from the same source as the given motion detector. Therefore, the maximum current consumption in lunar models is higher than in the other slimline devices. This is particularly important when calculating the current balance for a specific alarm system. In the previous episode, we discussed how to configure the lunar and pro detectors. Using the LED indicator color change as an example, we showed you how to change settings of these devices. We discussed two ways of configuration, using the buttons on the electronics board and using the OPT-1 key fob. Today, therefore, for the sake of time saving, we will not show the individual steps taken to change the lighting settings. Instead, we will focus on how this feature works. In the next episode, we will discuss some practical examples of using the lunar detectors. We will show you how to control lighting based on the Integra control panel, what types of outputs can be used for this, and how to use various logic functions. Let's go back to the theory. The lunar detector configuration menu looks like this. The first table applies to models with a PIR sensor and the second to dual tech devices. As you can see in both cases, the last three menu functions are used to set the parameters of lighting. Let's examine each of them. The first of them is the lighting operation mode. There are three options to choose from. First, remote control only. Second, remote control or activation by motion. And third, motion activation if the lunar input is connected to common ground. By factory default, the mode 1 is set, remote control only. This option means that lighting will only be switched on when the lunar terminal in the detector is connected to common ground. The signal can come from, e.g., the control panel output. Importantly, switching on the lighting may or may not at all be associated with motion detection by the lunar detector being configured. So, let's see how it works. The Mono 1 button is connected to our detector's lunar terminal. As you can see, motion detection by the detector is signalled by the blue LED indicator, but the lighting does not turn on. Only when the Mono 1 button is pressed, the white LEDs light up. This happens regardless of motion detection by our detector. The light is only on when the button is pressed, that is, when the lunar terminal is connected to common ground. Let's go back to the lighting modes. The second available option is remote control or activation by motion. If it is selected, the lighting will be switched on in one of the two cases. Like in the one we have just discussed, when the lunar terminal is connected to common ground or when the lunar detector being configured detects movement. An important note, in the configuration menu of lunar detectors, the duration of motion activated lighting function is available. It allows you to set the time during which the lighting activated by motion detection by the lunar detector will be switched on. Six options are available, 5 seconds, 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, 90 seconds and 180 seconds. The default setting is 30 seconds. For the sake of presentation, we have selected the shorter time, 5 seconds. Each subsequent motion detection restarts the countdown. Let's see how the lighting works in the second mode, i.e. with remote control or motion activation. Motion detection by the detector turns on the lighting for 5 seconds. As you can see, also pressing the Mono 1 button, that is connecting the lunar terminal to common ground, switches on the lighting. Importantly, both events can occur independently of each other. The mode number 2 is recommended in cases where the lighting is to be activated directly by the detector itself, without taking into account the impact of any other factors. In this situation, the lunar terminal is not to be connected to common ground or just left unconnected. 
Now let's go to the third mode, i.e. motion activation, if the lunar input is connected to ground. In this case, lighting will be switched on after motion is detected by the detector being configured. However, another condition must be met. The lunar terminal must be connected to common ground. In this mode, you can turn the lighting function on or off remotely. When the function is active, motion detection will turn on white LEDs. Let's see how it works. You can see that the LED indicator signals movement detection by lighting blue. However, the white LEDs do not turn on. This is because the lunar terminal is not connected to common ground. To change this, press and hold the Mono 1 button, shorting the lunar clamp to ground. Now, each violation of the detector will turn on the lighting for the time set in the detector. I release the button to disconnect the common ground. Although the LED indicator signals motion detection by glowing blue, the lighting does not turn on. Let's press the button again. After motion is detected, the white LEDs light up, which means everything works OK. The last function in the Lunar Detector Settings menu relates to the method of lighting turning off. There are two options to choose from. The first, immediate turn off, and the second, slow dimming. Let's check how it works in practice. In the left window, the lunar detector is set to option 1. The light goes out immediately. On the right, the light is dimming down slowly. That is, option 2 is selected. Slow dimming is the way of switching off the lighting that is set by factory default on all lunar detector models. That's all as for the technical information. Finally, we would like to inform you that the slim PIR lunar detector we used in today's episode was awarded a distinction in the Dobry Design 2020 competition. It means good design in English. The competition was organized by the editors of the magazine and internet portal, both dedicated to interior design. As part of the competition, the most interesting products and solutions to be used in interiors are selected. The ones that emphasize the decor give it more character, surprised not only by their appearance, but also functionality. Many thanks to all of you who voted for our detector. We remind you that in the next episode we will discuss how to control the lighting in lunar detectors using the Integra control panels. Thank you. We invite you to the next eAcademy meetings. See you soon.